Hey, you guys. Who woke up today with the strangest news about Miss Olil Tay and Jason Tien? It's the craziest thing, right? Well, I know that I did my investigation. I found no clue whatsoever in Vancouver, okay, which I just looked up Canada, and then LA, Los Angeles, because I was like, what is going on? I know that they're from there, right? And then they lived in LA. So I'm looking up stuff. I didn't find not a damn thing, not a clue, right? And I thought, well, you know what? It's just, I don't know what's going on. Um, and I just didn't want to put it out because I thought, how many people are just going to take this post from Lil Tay and they're going to go run with it? This post has been neglected for a couple of years, right? I want to say since, oh my God, uh, 2018, maybe? It's been a while. It's been a while. Not nothing. Um, and then uh, I remember she was doing some kind of Good Morning America stuff. And then I don't know if the, all that stuff got taken away. But I do remember that. And then also, there was somebody that said, I witnessed her getting to a crash. Oh, do, 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 do. Well, I got news for you, bro. If you didn't record it, you don't have a receipt, it never happened. Okay, that's just the way it is. We can listen to you. We can do this, that, and the third. But I want screenshots of your whereabouts, okay? Where's your red dot? Okay, where's your red dot trail? Okay, because if you can't show me exactly where this happened, it never happened. Okay, and that goes for everybody. Now, as well, the post, it stated not only her passing, but because of her brother passing. And I'm just sitting here going, what is going on? How come we didn't hear about the brother passing first? Because if that was a deal, everybody would have reached out to her, okay? For condolences, uh, if you need a shoulder to lean on. But then I run across this interview that Rice Gum did with Will Vicky. Well, Vicky mentions that she just got through talking to Lil Tay. They're doing this comeback. They're doing this, that, and the third. Now, Jason been telling his friends too. We're doing this. We're doing that. We're trying to get our money back, right? Because daddy took custody of Lil Tay. And, and he didn't want her in the public eye. Now everybody's just in a whole frenzy. You know what I mean? Because she was taken away from the public. Well, she was a whole minor. And, and, and you know, he was over here like, do it again, do it again, do it again. Well, we heard this and we saw these receipts, right? It was like terrible. And she was just stressed out, little kid. So daddy stepped in and he was like, mm, look here. <laughs> she can come over here to Canada with me, okay? And she's not doing none of this. But as far as we know, the age over there, is the age restriction, I want to say, is a little bit different in Canada than it is in America. So with that being said, she's at that peak age, okay? She knows how much money that Jason has in the bank from their investments together as little Tang. And um, and she made bookus, right? She made guest appearances for what? Chief Keith, Jake Paul, uh, per, uh, oh my goodness, um... Uh, Juice World, just like uh, XXX, like a whole bunch of people, right? And that was whenever I first got started, right? So with that being said, there was just so much. Um, and um, so, yeah, I'm thinking this is a rebrand, especially now that the Vancouver and the L.A. Police Department have denied they're investigating the Pew Pew or the, the, the knockoff, okay? Look, I'm going to do this whole damn video over. I can't say that. Anyway, there's no investigation, y'all. I'm just like, what? So it's fake.